Hawaii lawmakers are starting to weigh in as President Barack Obama prepares to possibly escalate the battle against ISIS. He's expected to ask Congress for authority to use military force. KITV force Andrew Pereira has been in contact with lawmakers and he joins us now live. Andrew. Well, Yunji and Paul, the pressure is really ratcheting up. Airstrikes against the self proclaimed Islamic State began last summer, but now the question is should the U.S. be doing more? This might be the tipping point when ISIS militants burned a Jordanian fighter pilot alive inside a cage. The condemnation grew louder. Should, in fact, this video be authentic, it's just one more indication of the viciousness and uh, barbarity of this organization. Commitment. This week, White House spokesman Josh Earnest announced the president will soon ask Congress for authority to use military force against the terrorists. Now, Hawaii's congressional delegation is weighing in. It's going to be contentious, but you always have that sense of we need to do something. And, um, it, it, and, and that can really push people in, in, uh, in, in, some very, you know, in some very strong directions. So far, the strongest language has come from Representative Tulsi Gabbard, who said the president has not accurately identified the extremist Islamic threat. This is not just about one group called ISIS or another group called Al Qaeda. This is about an overall threat posed by this radical Islamic extremist agenda, Gabbard said in a statement. Once we understand this, then we can come up with an effective strategy to defeat this threat. She's not exactly a dove on this one. You know, she's not saying don't send troops in. Representative Mark Takai wants to hear from constituents. The president should present a new authorization for use of military force to Congress as soon as possible so that we can have a full and open debate regarding the use of our military and any consequences of deeper involvement in the conflict in the Middle East, said Takai. I think Mark Takai, because he's, he's new in, in this thing, is being appropriately cautious. Some military analysts say the only way to defeat ISIS is to commit special forces or ground troops. However, Hawaii senators remain opposed to any boots on the ground. The president relied on existing authorities to strike ISIL, but a ground combat mission will require specific congressional authority, said Senator Maisie Hirono. The president has assured us that U.S. forces will not have a combat mission, and I will hold him to that assurance. Senator Brian Schatz takes a similar tact, saying a new time-limited and geographically targeted authorization will help sharpen our policy and align appropriations for the mission. And it must make clear that the United States cannot commit U.S. ground forces to combat ISIL. I think for our senators, our two senators, a lot of it is going to be about loyalty to the president. The White House says the president wants Congress to re repeal prior authorizations for military force approved in 2001 and 2002 and replace them with a new one focused specifically on the Islamic State.